Class of 2020. Today we have the unique privilege of standing united with one voice, with one message, and with one purpose, to celebrate and memorialize time. The timeline of your journey from kindergarten to this historic end to your high school career. Time is always marked by important memories, key milestones, and momentous occasions. Those events that signify that life as we know it has changed, that something else is coming. It's a strange place to find yourselves because time allows you to exist briefly in two realms. On one hand, you mourn what's lost. On the other, you look to the future in anticipation of the next step in the journey. With each of these occasions, it is inevitable that our sense of familiar shifts. Our normal becomes old news, our expectations transform, and then time, without regard for how these events have affected us, marches on. Sometimes with the cadence of a slow, easy walk, sometimes with jarring and abrupt fits and starts, and sometimes with almost overwhelming speed. Regardless of the pace, though, we can allow these experiences to leave the most indelible impressions and cement themselves in our hearts and minds. And we do. This has been true for you, the graduating class of 2020, for all of your lives, because your timelines have already been marked with a series of momentous events, all of which have been history makers. Most of you were born in the immediate aftermath of 9-11, arguably one of the most significant and challenging events of our history. And while you were learning to sit up and to crawl and walk and talk, your families and your communities and your leaders all had to face unexpected, unparalleled events and work through the uncertainty and insecurity that they forced upon us. And they did. During your kindergarten year, Steve Jobs introduced the world's first smartphone, which ultimately influenced how we communicate, how we teach and learn, and how we work. As time passed and you moved through grade school, transitioning from one milestone to the next, losing your first tooth, learning to ride a bike, earning your first award or trophy. The evolution of technology impacted us in ways that we couldn't quite fully understand. Social networking continued to evolve. Communities and businesses began to interact through multiple platforms, and the workforce began to offer work from home options. Eventually, you began using this technology to capture your own milestones and memories on apps such as Instagram, and through Twitter and Snapchat. Your friends and families, your communities and your leaders, and even you needed to keep moving. And you did. And now, as seniors preparing to exit school, your timelines are marked by yet another momentous occasion. And that will alter all of your lives moving forward. A graduation event occurring in the middle of a pandemic. You began your senior year as part of the lockstep steady march towards your traditional month of May senior events. You had a plan. You had a vision. You were secure in knowing what to expect next. And then it all unexpectedly stopped, which may have caused you to look at your immediate future with a sense of insecurity and uncertainty. Some of you may even be asking yourselves, am I prepared or will I know what to do next? The answers are simple. You are and you will. Because of the earmarks of your historic timelines have been preparing you all along. You are prepared to face down the insecurity that comes with change and not having a set path. Because you are dreamers and action takers. And in time, you will open the doors of opportunity when you encounter them. You are prepared to use times of uncertainty to explore, to make difficult decisions, and to take strategic chances because you are innovators and problem solvers. And in time, you will help your families, your colleagues, and your communities find a new and productive way forward. You are prepared to meet unexpected challenges with creative thought and inspirational acts because you are the trailblazers and history makers. And in time, you will design the new technologies and discover the new solutions for all of us. And now, instead of being able to gather together as a community to recognize and celebrate your accomplishments, we instead find ourselves simultaneously moving away from the tradition and facing with anticipation how our new normal will allow us this unprecedented opportunity to highlight not only your accomplishments, but to showcase how prepared you are to move along your timelines toward your next great milestones. My Angelo Poet Laureate said, all great accomplishments require time. And as you will see here today, you are well on your way. 
In addition to the impressive recognitions evident here, you will also be reminded how many of you have already spent time as civic-minded community contributors. You will see in the faces of your friends and classmates, those who have already begun promising careers as advocates for equality, as spokespeople for those who haven't yet found their voice, and as caregivers for those in need. And you will see in the faces the people who bring us, those who have walked this path before you, confidence, optimism, and hope for what time will bring next, because you do. We offer our heartfelt congratulations to the historic class of 2020. It is definitely your time. Your time. Your time. Your time. Your time. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello fellow graduates, staff, family, and friends. Thank you for joining us today in commemorating Hartford Tech's very special class of 2020. I apologize in advance for the waterworks that are surely soon to come, but if I make you cry, then I have somewhat done my job. It has truly been a blessing being part of this talented group of graduates and having the opportunity to give one last farewell to everyone. To say our class is unique would be a complete understatement. And it is not just because the devastating pandemic cut our senior year short. While we may go down in history for being the only class to graduate through a screen, what makes tech extraordinary is our individuality. Our graduates have come from all over the county and bring with them their own experiences, backgrounds, and upbringings. All things thrown into the giant melting pot that makes up our class. We never lost sight of where we came from. Instead, we used our unique differences to apply them within our tech areas and come together as one unit. Unity allowed us to appreciate each other for our gifts and despite our many differences, has enabled us to accomplish and close this chapter of our lives. Speaking of our lives, to quote an exceptional author named Rupi Carr, she reminds us of the recipe of life told by her mother as she writes, Think of those flowers you plant in the garden each year. They will teach you that people too must wilt, fall, root, rise in order to bloom. Like the flowers, we too have gone through this transformation. It would be untrue to say that we were able to get to this point without hardships and challenges. For some, the wilting and falling came as a package as we took our first steps into the building where we would spend our next four years. Our anxiety was high, we were no longer the big fishes in the pond like we were in eighth grade. I remember asking myself if I could do this as I walked to each class recognizing maybe two people from my middle school. As my peers and I reminisce on the few moments we remember of our blurred freshman year, the few memories that stand out the most consist of spending the whole year trying to find our way around, meeting new friends, being anxious and excited for our first pep rally, and experiencing rotations to the different tech areas. Looking back, despite the anxiety many experienced freshman year, some valuable lessons were learned. These lessons included not being afraid to join that club or sports team you were eager to be part of, giving tech area rotations a chance because they did end up being fun and diverse, and most importantly, not standing directly under a car when changing the oil. This specific lesson came from my nursing class's rotation automotive when Madeline Maurice drenched herself in oil head to toe while trying to change the oil filter in a car. This memory is a favorite amongst our nursing class and gives us a good laugh every time it is brought up. Although ninth grade is considered our falling stage because of our unease, it was full of laughs and memories that would build the foundation for our journey. While freshman year was the start of our venture, the rooting stage came sophomore year while we were sitting in the Amos Center for our annual beginning of the year assembly and Mr. Collins reminded us to be nice to the freshmen. Finally, we weren't the littlest fishes in the pond anymore. We soon realized that our 10th grade year would bring us even closer together and the reality of growing up began to set in. The newness had worn off with our newfound co friends and Cobra family. We began thinking about college, maintaining our GPAs, and preparing for our certifications. Our second pep rally season had rolled around and we were ecstatic to start looking for homecoming attire, looking forward to the big Friday night game, and to begin decorating our class colored white shirts. Another lesson, don't forget cardboard in between your shirt when you paint. It will bleed through and you will have to start over if you don't. All in all, sophomore year established our roots by setting the stage for the next two very exciting and overwhelming years of our high school careers. 
With our roots established, junior year brought more rigorous classes, new time management skills between sports and jobs and classes, fear of failing our driver's test, our third very exciting pep rally, and certifications that were coming up. Along with these difficulties, the most challenging moments came with the dreaded SATs, trying not to get early senioritis, I did, and most importantly, trying to overcome it all. However, I am not referring to junior year as our rising year for these nerve-wracking events alone. 11th grade was full of fun events including field trips, new decorated pep rally shirts that were yellow this time, thrilling Friday night like games, and our first prom for some. When I said tech was extraordinary though, I meant it. Junior year is considered our rising year because of our ability to rise above those struggles to make unforgettable memories our focus. All these hurdles should have hindered our journey and prevented these fun events if we went through them alone. Most of us have our mentors to thank for getting us through the hardships to enjoy the good times. This is to our tech mentors who we graduates relied on for help, advice, and guidance to get us one year closer to graduating. We owe you one. September of 2019 had finally rolled around. Our first our last first day marked the beginning of what was going to be the best year. This is what our awkward ninth grade selves had been waiting for since we first set foot in the building. Our last homecoming, spirit weeks, pep rallies, sports seasons, prom, certifications, senior picnic, and graduation was all just within reach. After losing a lot of these things to extraordinary circumstances, no one deserves to stay more than we do. Despite this unprecedented and devastating pandemic taking away our senior year, my fellow graduates, words cannot describe how proud I am of us. I know classes have been over for some time now, but I have one more question for you. How many of you are ready to close this chapter of your lives and start the beginning of an even better one? I know I am. Here we all are, coming from all over the county with our differences to become a skillful and well-rounded group of graduates. Class of 2020, Rupi Carr was right. Our three years prior were full of wilting, falling, rooting, and rising in order for us to get to this point where we can finally bloom. I'm so incredibly sorry we had to be the ones to get our year cut short, but no one could have handled this better than us. As this chapter closes, your hard work has been recognized through college credit, trade experience, and our certifications. Tech has brought us closer together and our journeys will not end here. We will take with us the unforgettable memories, the connections we built with one another, the bonds we have with our mentors, and the knowledge we earned from our tech areas, and apply these unique abilities to an even greater opportunities in the next chapter of our lives. No matter where life takes you after today, remember the recipe of life and remember that this is just one of the many milestones you will achieve on your journey. I am forever thankful to be your senior class president. You all have shown me what it means to come out of my shell and appreciate the little things. To our families, hug us a little tighter today. We have been through quite a roller coaster and are grateful for all your support to get here. To our staff and administration, Thank you as well for preparing us for the adult world. You all have always had our best interests at heart and wanted us to be successful. We will prove it to you that we will be. To my own family and friends, high school has been memorable because of you. I don't tell you nearly enough how much I appreciate all you have done and for shaping me into the young woman you all have always envisioned me to be. Lastly, seniors, I am beyond ecstatic for what the future holds for all of us. Let's close this chapter and open the door to a new world of limitless possibilities, success, and four years worth of memories we'll remember long enough to tell our kids about. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it, and I wouldn't have wanted to celebrate this day with any other class. Hello, my name is Joe Collins, and I'm the proud principal of Hartford Technical High School, and I want to welcome you to the Class of 2020 Digital Graduation Experience. I know that this is not the venue that we all expected, but this is an opportunity for us to recognize the Class of 2020 individually and collectively. Parents, I want to thank you for allowing us to work with your children for the last four years. They're an amazing group, and you've done an amazing job. So graduates, I am sorry that we have to do this this way, but it does not diminish the fact that we love you, we are so proud of you, 
and on behalf of the whole staff of Harford Technical High School, we know you are going to do great things. You are always welcome back. You will always be Cobras. When you pick up your diploma at school, you will also get a challenge coin, which we've made a bit of a tradition at Harford Tech. And that coin is a keepsake, something you can put away and show your children many, many years down the road. But it's also a symbol of what you've done in a very tough time. You should be very proud of yourselves. You should take this time to enjoy the fact that you've accomplished something great. Now to the rest of the program. Ethan James Adams. Kristen Deborah Aguale. Kara Michelle Anderson. Claire Olivia Ashburn. Haley Paige Bailowich. Ronan Odell Bangs. Eric Nikwan Barnett Jr. Sukminder Singh Bassi. Ethan Grant Boblitz. Michael Scott Bellamy. Joshua Cedric Nigel Ben. Joshua Carl Bernal. Mackenzie Devora Bianchi. Clifford Niamuero Bibio. Von Joseph Bierman. Joshua Bryant Blake. Jacob Dylan Michael Bobbin. Blake Alexander Brown. Nicholas Anthony Brown. Nathaniel David Bruno. Daniel Robert Buis. Brandon Michael Bullock. Navia Alor Campbell. Thomas Lee Cargo. Joseph Abraham Carl. Thomas Henry Carter. Evan Patrick Cassidy. Brooke Taylor Caudell. Alexia Nicole Chapman. Colin Michael Childs. Madison Ann Ciccone. Austin Reed Cosia. Victoria Elizabeth Cohoon. Michael Scott Colburn. Timothy David Collins. Carson Faith Cook.
Jaleel Everlasting Cooper. Pierce Yanni Cortales. Lindsay Nicole Crockett. Matthew Jonathan Cummings. Jalen Donovan Cunningham. Henry John D'Angelo. Jerome Anthony Dance. Morgan Taylor Daniels. Noah Robert Davis. Seth Ian Dawson. Jack Marshall Dempsey. Elijah Daniel Karen Dennis. Blake Robert Diem. Sarah Rose Dotson. Trinity Cheyenne Dorsey. Dominic Joshua Dozer. Dalton Lee Jivetsky. Megan Eve Dubell. Caitlin Margaret Enders. Zachary Scott Irvin. Osmar Napolis Evardo. Liliana Rose Fillers. Michael Anthony Findison. Brandon Charles Fletcher. Jonathan Charles Fletcher. Chloe Danielle Fernisevich. Rachel Allison Gabbery. Michaela Lee Gallagher. Connor McKay Gallery. Sobita Lizette Garcia Lopez. Christopher Gettier. Tyler Dean Gilliland. Allison Louise Glassman. Emily Elizabeth Goring. Andrew Nathan Goff. Samuel Cadence Grabia. Shelby May Greb. Kale Isaac Griffith. Jasmine Marie Gross. Alyssa Marie Gunstadu. Bradley Todd Hall.
Caitlin Nicole Hamm. Haley Marie Harner. Dayton Jonah Evan Harris. Corey Nasir Harris. Kristen Emily Harrison. Hannah Nicole Hartsock. Michael William Hatcher. Aaron May Haviland. Herman E. Hawkins III. Alexandra Nicole Hibbler. Justin Matthew Holly. Matthew Thomas Hooper. Emily Faith Hoskins. Amaya Simone Hudgens. Ryan William Hunt. Ashley Loretta Hurt. Jeremiah Xavier Jackson. Tavon Anthony Jakes. Jamie Lynn Jeffers. Aliyah Vanessa Johnson. Noah Matthew Johnson. Stephanie Nicole Jones. Jaden Anthony Cashenbach. Tyler Mason Cash. Nicholas David Kiefer. Lyric Andrea Kelly. Emily Amber Kissner. Terry Charles Cobert Jr. Ryan Carl Crouch. Ryan Kyle Krydenoff. Ethan Eric Lake. Madison Dawn Landry. Angelina Rosa Lee. Nicholas Anthony Lazier. Aaliyah Elizabeth Levison. Matthew David Lineberry. Euripides Anthony Lozu. Tyler Anthony William Long. Terrell Dana Lowry Jr. Bryant Lamb Lou. Jada Michelle Maddox.
Abigail Lynn McGee. Megan Rose Mangione. Charles Frederick Martz. Owen Jinwoo Marvel. Madeline Maurice. Dominic Franklin Mavius. Laura Abigail McCall. Jaron Kamal McFadden. Curtis Jerome McKissett Jr. Eddie Medina Jr. Abigail Rose Miller. Mark Anthony Miller. Jessica Haley Mitzel. Natasha Andre Mulhenrick. Eric Jamal Montague Jr. Evan Lewis Rudolph Moore. Colin Alexander Moxie. Bryant James Moyle. Evelyn Hope Numov. Dylan Kent Newsom. Kyle Addison Nikenji. Kaya Michelle Norton. Zachary William Numbers. Sandria Aquele Nevi. Sandrine Okoko Nevi. Caesar Osman Ochoa. Tara Lynn Orzak. Sarah Yu Young Park. Savannah Yuji Park. Tyler Joseph Parnell. Tivanya Jewel Patterson. William Wright Patterson. Kevin Garrett Peters. Samantha Marie Peters. Garrett Allen Farr. Aaron Renee Phillips. Justin Anthony Pereira. Sydney Nicole Pitt. Cassidy Lee Poole. Brianna Taylor Preetz. Thomas Charles Rambo.
Victoria Margaret Rambo. Logan Robert Rawson. Earl Robert Reed. Nathan Robert Reed. Erica Rose Reichardt. Taylor Ashlyn Reeder. Mackenzie Ann Reed. Evan Charles Ridgely. Richard Rivera. Kiwi Margaret Roberts. Blake Allen Robinson. Romeus Veraldo Rodriguez. Andrew James Rogers. J. Matthew Rose. Taylor Lauren Ross. Emma Marie Ryan. Keegan Edward Sachs. Reagan Ammon Salomon. Abir Rahman Samad. Corinne Bailing Santiago. Gabriel Matthew Schaefer. Brennan Cole Schneider. Ketty Elizabeth Seitz. Logan Christopher Sealing. Rachel Marie Shetterly. Catherine Cody Shu. Kaylee Madison Seiler. Aaliyah Renee Smith. Andrew Ryan Smith. Sydney Morgan Smith. Zion Mackay Smith. Madeline Nicole Sordillo. Daniel Gilbert Steen III. Allison Elizabeth Storm. Brandon David Sterla. Samantha Catherine Swanson. Jonathan Richard Tate. Darren William Taylor. Deontay Gerald Taylor. Jordan Ayana Raquel Taylor. Joshua Caleb Taylor.
Stephanie Grace Taylor. Zachary Mitchell Taylor. Luke Emerson Teague. Hunter Kenneth Terry. Alexis Nicole Unger. Kaylee May Upson. Rachel Marie Vlasis. Casey Rose Walker. Brian Thomas Wall. Nicholas Charles Warner. Amber Emily Watson. Sean Ryan Weber. Matthew Raymond Webster. Morgan Ann White. Quinn Spencer Wiesner. Mariah Angelica Williams. Marissa Noel Wilson. Brandon Michael Winkler. Enoch Quasi Wiredu. Jamal Richard Wright Jr. Madison Nichelle Broughton. Jarrett Vernon Yates. Lakaya Jewel Young. Mason Patrick Young. Trevor Anthony Young. Craig Allen Yox. Grace Kathleen Nolani Zerner. Joseph James Koamalu Zerner. To the Hufford Technical High School Class of 2020, this is our time. Congratulations, please turn your tassels.